Hi everybody, my wife Catherine and I, we just love our condominium building. It's right next to the village and we're with 16 other keys. A gentleman who lives just a few doors away passed away a couple weeks ago. An absolutely great guy, Rick Engress. His wife Kate couldn't possibly be any dearer. Married 27 years and a wonderful friend to so many who lived here in the building. And Rick stopped by our place so many times to bring his signature Persian mulberry exotic fruits. He'd get them at Sunday's farmer's market. And he'd always let me know how much he enjoyed walking by and hearing my piano music in the early morning. Things like that. A few days after he passed away, I, I tucked a note under the 16 doors in our building with, a, with an idea. I invited the folks to meet at our fountain in the courtyard that Monday night at 6.30. And I wrote that we'd knock on Kate's door and give her our good thoughts. Dumb me, when I scheduled it, I forgot it was a huge football night. And on top of it, it was freezing cold, pitch dark, coldest night of the year. And my wife and I were standing in the courtyard along with Tina Canales, a spectacular mom in the building who was in on the idea. I had brought these, this box of these small battery candles that we could all get hold at uh, Kate's door. And reality set in for all of us. No one was coming. It's a condominium building. Folks have their own lives. We get it. We figured we'd knock on Kate's door anyways. And then we heard something. A smiling neighbor walked into the courtyard with some flowers. Another lovely couple walked down the staircase with some candies. And then another, and, and another, and another. And, and one brought Kate's favorite champagne and another with homemade soup. Rick and Kate loved and all kinds of things. And, and suddenly our courtyard was filled with our condominium family. And we handed out and lit those battery candles and we walked over to Kate's doorway and Kate opened that door and saw all of us in that damp air with those candles. And she called to her dear daughter who was staying with her during those challenging days. And I can't possibly tell you what it meant to them. And then they invited us in and we all circled Kate and her daughter in their living room holding our candles. And Kate's eyes said absolutely everything. And we let her know we would be there for her. And we, we saw it on Kate's daughter's face, the depth of those words. And, and there was a quiet in the room. And the room started to glow, not, not with the light of those candles, but with a feeling that was so strong and so powerful and so unexpected. We looked at each other and we, we felt it. And in that moment, we found something in that room we were looking for that we missed. Something that we really, really needed. A little humanity. And we all hugged Kate and her daughter and Kate asked if she could keep the candles those simple little candles. Candles that just lit the room. Thank you for spending a few minutes together.